Hey everybody, it is first thing in the morning, at least as far as the fish are concerned, I just got the lights turned on, and I wanted to come in here and do a quick tank check, yesterday I found an injured fish in a different tank, and I put it over here into this one, and as of last night, it looked okay, I checked on it throughout the day, and by the afternoon it was behaving normally again, it did show some physical signs of injury, but recovered nicely, and I didn't see any reason to be concerned about it uh, by the time I went to bed last night. But you never know uh, what the overnight hours may bring, and so I thought I would just come and get a quick look now that we've got the lights on in the morning. And I actually do not see... Well, there's one of them. If you can see that fish lying down there underneath the log, that is one of the white sucker fish. Speaking of the devil, there's the other one, and that, in fact, is the one... In question, that is the one that was injured. You can see how its tail's a little torn up, and you can see sort of some like red, almost look like it had some like internal bleeding inside the tail. So that is definitely the one that was injured when it went into the tank yesterday. And as of yesterday, like I said, it was behaving normally. It was swimming with the school. It ate. It was foraging around the bottom when I fed the tank and, you know, picking up the little bits of food that made it to the bottom. And it seems a little agitated this morning, but it's also just got put in a different tank less than 24 hours ago, and the lights just came on, so it's not entirely unusual for that fish to be a little, you know, unsettled at the moment. Once it gets settled in and used to being in here, uh, it'll probably stop acting like that, and it'll just kind of lay low with all these other fish that are just hanging out. Now, having said all that, I really need to get in here and thin this out i don't know if i'm going to do that today or not um i can't i'm not going to promise that i'll shoot video of it this is probably going to be one of those things that when the mood strikes me i'm going to grab a net and i'm going to pull some fish out of here and that's just going to happen and i'm probably not going to wind up you know getting the camera set up and doing all that stuff so we'll have to wait and see what happens but i did want to just give an update and let everybody know that that right there is the injured sucker fish it's hard to believe that thing was in my little 40 gallon tank and then from there went into that little tiny uh shallow water that probably doesn't even hold five gallons total in that little tank it was in and uh who knows how long it was thrashing around in that tank so the fact that it's still alive at all is pretty impressive so again i think it's getting about time to get some of these fish back out uh, where they belong. This tank is getting way overcrowded. It's not particularly even attractive to look at anymore. It's just a bunch of fish packed in there. So make sure you're subscribed and you won't miss any updates on this tank or anything else I've got going on around here. I uh, don't know what I'm going to get done today, but it'll probably be something. And while I've got you, I just looked over here and noticed That is my little South American bumblebee catfish, so it's definitely still alive and well. And there's a little bonus look at it at the end of this video. So thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed, as I keep saying. Uh, don't forget the tank we were just looking at is my 125-gallon native tank, and then this one here is my purple-spotted gudgeon tank. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you real soon in the next one.